Hey friends, it's Miss Shante and my daughter Brooklyn. Um, I'm sure some of you guys remember her from last year or our last time we did um, virtual, but she's here. She had a snow day today, so she's here to help me do our first YouTube video. So um, we sent over IT cards um, through the lesson for the lesson plan this week. So I'm gonna do something that was on there and it was actually for today. And it is to make Play-Doh. Your favorite, huh? Okay. So, you have to start by washing your hands. So make sure your hands are clean. Me and Brooklyn already washed our hands. Your countertop or the area that you're using is clean. We already cleaned that. And gather all of the ingredients, which we already did, huh? Yeah. All right. So in this, you're gonna um, read the recipe with your child and discuss what you will make. Help him or her to measure, add, and mix the ingredients, which we did together, huh? All right. So the first ingredient is a cup of water, which we have right here. We have three cups of flour, which I already measured, and I put inside our big mixing bowl. We have one and a half teaspoons of salt. I have to measure it still. We have a fourth cup of oil and food coloring, which is optional. So don't go out and get it if you don't have it. And Brooklyn picked blue. She wants to make blue Play-Doh today. All right, so the directions. It says in a large mixing bowl, which we have, combine ingredients and mix with a spoon. I have to go grab a spoon. One minute. <laughs> All right. Back with a spoon. I thought I was ready, but not 100%. All right. So it said combine all the ingredients um, into the bowl. So let's add the cup of water first. Go ahead and pour it in. Now the flour is already in there. So let's add one and a half of salt. teaspoons of salt. So we're gonna do, this is a half. So we're gonna put um, three scoops of this in. Yeah. Gonna pour that in. That's one half, that's a half. Oops. Oops. Now we're at one teaspoon. Now we need one more half. And we have one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now it says to add the fourth cup of oil, which we have right yeah. here. Go ahead and pour it in, Brooklyn. And the food coloring is last. Um, I would just start off with maybe four drops, and then you can always add more if you want it more to have more color. So to count it. Two, three, four. Okay. Now it says to... Stir it with the spoon. So stir it up. Stir it up. And it says in on the ingredients, add more flour if mixture is too sticky, but we still have we need to um keep stirring. Thanks. And we will be right back with the final result. Okay, friends, so after you stir it for a little bit, um, I recommend just putting your hands in and um, squishing it all around in there. We did have to add more food coloring, so I would recommend maybe 10 um, drops of the food coloring. Definitely needed. And how does it feel, Brooklyn? Good. It feels actually like Play-Doh. Does it feel like real Play-Doh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we lift it up and show our friends. So this is the final result. It's not that blue because we didn't add that much food coloring. But well, that's okay. Yeah. Still feels good, huh? And it's not too sticky, is it? Mm. Fine. It's okay. So the last um, direction is when you're done playing with it, just put it in a large Ziploc baggie so it doesn't dry out and you can play with it multiple times. So, all right, friends. Well, I hope you liked 
our YouTube video today. Um, we'll be back with more videos, but I hope you have fun making Play-Doh at home. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.